God bless you. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To him all the praise, to him all the glory. Please, um, this is so amazing. And let this teaching benefit you. Maybe you have in the past make an attachment with the woman from Proverbs 2 verse 17. And maybe you are this woman. Please stay with me. Let this teaching and the other teachings as well, what I deliver already from the Lord about this subject, um, bless you and let this uh, making a way back to our Lord Jesus so you can fall in love again with our Lord Jesus your first love right and uh, please um, listen to other teachings as well for more balance about this subject don't listen to one, one teaching and um, maybe your pastor is also good to uh, listen more it's an, not an easy subject to understand and to follow and to get uh, to get it to really get it and um, I want to first read um, uh, the foundation from this teaching and this of course uh, the prophets 2 verse 17 and I want to read uh, verse 16 19 I use these scriptures uh, in every teaching and uh, let me build up and this about teaching about a uh, death the slumber the spirit the spirit uh, the spirit of death and what is the spirit of death working out in your life we will see um, uh, let this teaching ble bless you bless you bless you bless you and give you understanding what is working your life so you can understand things are not from god not normal not from you you have made an attachment by your ways uh, with a woman and i want to read so we can uh, start to deliver day from a strange woman even from the stranger with a flatter with her words which forsaken the guide of her youth and forgotten the confidence of her god she, she has separate her from the law of God and she don't like submission and she, if you will speak with her there is a strange speaking and she call herself a Christian but that's the question and I point this out in what is uh, here found in this scripture 18 for her house inclined unto death and her pet unto death None that go unto her and speaks about sex need return again, neither take their hold of the bed of life. You lose your bed of life, the life with Christ. It's He's the way, Jesus. John 14, verse 6. Right. And I want to speak about death. If you incline your house to, to death, if you will abide in your in with this if you go in with this woman or you are this woman you have received in your sight the pet of death and what does this mean and what is uh, what is that and that is you that shows up in your thinking in your feelings you are no longer have the uh, ability to for nat natural affection natural love and your, your love will change and you're no longer love uh, boring Christian men they are not exciting and not uh, they have not they are uh, boring they are not they have no excitement there is no novelty and if you get understanding about what is love from God and love from this world then you see there's a big difference but if you are this particular woman and you you are a pleasure woman then if you study this teachings you can find out that there is there's something working in you and it's it, it's against you it's the dead and Christ is life for us and he brings life in our by the word of God and um, yes I want to read um, um, a scripture and um, and this speaks about if you will leave the guide of your youth and you will forget the covenant of your God then you are uh, fornicating when you 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 are um, connect yourself with the spirit of the world 
Huh? And that is what the Bible teaches us. And Paul uh, points this out in, and I want, it's a little bit long reading, but uh, there are, I want to read it so, but fornicate and all uncleanness and or comfortness, let it not be once named among you and become saints. Paul teaches us about uncleanness and fornication. Uncleanness is, uh, is, is, is the word, is the system, word system of this world, and, and become saints. Saints is separated from this world, not conform to this world. Neither filthiness nor foolish talking. This is this uh, foolish talk is, is uncleanness, and not jesting. We are not confi confident, but rather give of thanks to God. Verse five four. This uh, Ephesians 5 verse 5 For this uh, you know that no warmonger nor unclean, man, unclean person nor confidence man who is an adulterer had any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ of God. And I want to read this so you know if you are living this lifestyle, yes, you say to yourself, sex for marriage is no problem, pleasure is no problem. But there is, uh, if if you are life live a life from the world, there is no place in the kingdom of God for this sort of uh, uh, people, and uh, this is what the Bible teaches us. And we have to teach, and uh, we have to walk by God and not by our own understanding. Under otherwise, we missed uh, our place and uh, we missed Jesus in our lives, and we missed our uh, everlasting life from Christ. Let no man deceive you with vain work, words, for because of these things cometh the threat of God upon the children of disobedience. Be not ye therefore partakers with them. If you will connect yourself, you are already in a place from Psalm 1 verse 1. Hey, you, 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 first you are on the way, you are walking, then you are standing and then you are sitting. It's if you, uh, if you, you, you become in a place for no movement and you become a partaker. Sitting is a partaker place. Eight, for we were some, for ye were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light. Now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. And have no fellowship with unfruitful work of darkness and that's my point and I come to my point so stay with me please but rather reprove them eh? reject them for it's a shame even to speak of those things where are done of them in secret you can show yourself on the social media and in the secret you are walking on the pathways of this world or and, and 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 darkness and that's your your house is your your client your house with darkness your thinking but all things they are reproved and are made made manifest by the light for forever do make it manifest light wherefore he said i wake you and that's my point awake awake Arise from the dead, and Christ have give you light. I want to read it for you. Wherefore he said, Awake thou sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. And light is life. It's uh, it's uh, Ephesians 5 verse 14. And, um, and he, later on he said, Let be not drinking wine, drink from the wine. It's also, if you are connect yourself with that you'll see these people will have a drink uh, to drink to give them rest or to give them confidence or to give you their peace in certain situations and let me read wherefore uh, be ye not unwise but understanding uh, 17 and knowing the will of God the Lord is 18 and be not drunk with wine wherein excess, wherein is excess but be filled with the spirit, and uh, the 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 prophet, uh, book of the prophet Hosea uh, speaks about verse eleven, four verse eleven. Wine taken the heart away, 
and it's 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 the wine speaking not only from wine it's also from the spirit it's the spirit from boredom and um the boredom is coming first and then coming dead in your life and the boredom is it gives you the desires and gives you uh the lust and to 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 do to to seduce you and um, you find yourself with wine and and all kinds of excesses with the with therein but the lord say the contrary is let you feel with the spirit and you don't need wine you don't need a uh, drink to drink to give you confidence or to give you rest or give you peace inside and let let that is very beautiful and um and there's and uh to exercise <laughs> this maybe <laughs> to exercise and give you the rest and peace speaking to yourself in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs singing and making a melody in the heart for the lord and this gives you rest and this gives you peace and not drinking wine not drinking wine but listen if you connect yourself with that you find yourself in uh, many times you are restless and you like excitement you like thrills you like uh, drinking you like sex you, you like all kinds of adventures and you know by yourself it's it's it can be maybe you know but there is but you you have um you have you are you're becoming dead in your in your soul and your conscience and you you see yourself uh day week months after once you come become easier with doing not well to be in places and, and with men or women and you have or do kind all kinds of strange things and that's the bible say this you are dead on yourself and he say awake awake and christ so you give your light give your life and make you alive and um this was i want to uh, build this up from this scripture so you will know what the other scriptures what i share with you by the mercy of lord jesus uh, mean and it's a very interesting what is coming up and uh the book of process speak about many times about the boris woman the, the fornicated woman and um also about the spirit in death in uh, a profile that you don't really in the first case don't understand but i want to deliver this so it will benefit you and think about what i'll already share with you from ephesians 5 verse 14. wherefore he said awake thou sleepest and rise from the dead and christ saw given light And listen please my other teachings then you get get more understanding what is mean more meaning more picture but for now yet a little sleep and a little slumber and a little folding of the hands to sleep so so poverty came come as one that traveled and die was as an armored man and it speaks about spirits it speaks about slumbering it speaks about and death is coming if you do if you disconnect yourself and no longer praying and read this part portion in chapter 4 24 prophet 24 and this this was for 23 24 And this is a very twenty three, same book, twenty one. For the drunkard and the gluton shall come to poverty. And drowni drowniness so clothe a man with rags. Proverbs twenty three twenty one. That are the symptoms. The pattern it's coming from the spirit of death in your life.
and I want and other scriptures to connect with so you get more founded you receive more foundation verse 19 none that go into her return again neither take hold of the path of life and uh, verse 15 I think so is Proverbs um, chapter 2 19 was this verse right right there is a warning in verse 15 whose ways are crooked and they throw forth in their paths to deliver they from the saints room even from the saints with the flattening words And I want to uh, bring this together with um, with the next verses, so then you know what is going on, what is your own path, path, walk, uh, road, ray, your your path in life. If you don't listen, if you don't listen. If you don't have connect yourself with the good people around you and go to church. He that keepeth the commandments keep his own soul. But he that despise his ways shall die. And you die by that you're not keeping the commandments of the Lord. You keep not your soul by keeping the commandments. If you keep the commandments, you keep life for your soul. But if you despise the Lord's commandments and also the people around you, they say, listen, please, <laughs> what you are doing, is this wise? Is this the way? Is this the way? Is this teach? What is, is this? Is this teaching from the world? Or listen, you receive life by correction, by instruction. And here, then the next verse. This was uh, first chapter 19, verse 9, 16, uh, 21, verse 16. The man that wandered out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Again, the man that wandered out of the way of understanding, the way of the, from the way of uh, the mind, the mind from understanding, yeah, the understanding comes from the mind, shall remain in the congregation of the dead. And that is what the Bible teaches us in Proverbs uh, 2, verse 19. Non, uh, 18, for a house inclined into the dead. If you connect yourself with this movement, you will cut off life. And a pet unto death, none that go into her return again, neither take the hold of the pets of life. You have no understanding, you have no, you have not sense, any sense to do this. There is no um, uh, why wisdom in you if you connect yourself with uh, certain people like that, with man or woman. The fear of the Lord tended to life, first nineteen twenty three, and he that hate. Listen, it's very beautiful. The fear of the Lord tended to life, and he that hate it shall abide, satisfied, he shall not be visited with evil. Listen what the Bible and other. The wicked flee where no man pursue, but the righteous are bold as a lion. That means this. If you are disconnected from life, you there is no rest anymore in you. And you can, of course, you can... Uh, sitting down you can have some rest but there's if there is something changing and you cannot understand it you, there is no rest there is not a con there is no foundation for us from God in you I want to give um, what is mean if the spirit of death is active in your life 
and this is also connected with the first line of um, this first and um, Let me read it for you. Sixteen. Sixteen, sixteen. To deliver day from the strange woman, if from the strange but flitting her words. The slothful men say there is a lion without I shall be slain in the streets. There is always an excuse. If the word of God comes, there is an excuse. There is uh, some things what are not good, are dangerous or strange, uh, call it and there is it. The slothful men say there is a line in the way and twenty six thirteen a line is in the street. As the door turned up on his hangs hangs, so do the slothful open his bed. The slothful hided his hand in his bosom, he grieved him to bring it again to his mouth. There is no willingness, if you are dead inside you, there is no willingness to feed yourself spiritual. Sixteen the sluggard is wise in his own conceit than seven men that can render a reason. This is so true. The doctrine of this woman at sixteen, they are she's wiser than any any seven men with a good reason. With a good reason. And think about this. If you are get in conversation with this person he that passes by and mendled with strife belong not to him is like one that take a dog by his ears if you are connecting with this person you want to correct them and also it's in chapter 9 you find out you bring yourself in a position that they are <laughs> a madman who cast firebrands arrows and death you connect yourself with uh, a lot of uh, let me read read from chapter 17 and as i think so i know so i want to run it up with this so you get understand what i mean He that covered and transition seeketh love, but he that repeated and matter separates very, very friends. You can discern that if you are uh, with somebody is 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 dead in soul, he want to fight with you, and in particular if you want to bring the word of God in, you he bring fire in to reject and push you away. And I want to read also. Yes, this thing. And if you want to pick, uh, if you want to bring, if you, um, if there is something not going well, and you want to speak it out, you want to make it well with the other person. Also, listen what the Bible teaches. Is also inside this person. He that um, he loved transition that loved strife, and he that exalt his gate seek a destruction. In other words, if you are um, love uh, strife, love transition, you love strife, and he that ex you 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 want like you don't like to have to make a connection to other people. You will always bring in something into stumble. And this teaching it make it so awesome if you have already, and I I, I think so uh, in the beginning I. Uh, is that you invite the Lord. The Lord will always speak and use uh, teachings for um, 
to bring you in something in remembrance to uh, so you the word the he can use this teaching to work something special out in you so he can reveal something and notice that you can receive a, a feeling in a certain place in this teaching and then the Lord will touch you and will teach you and help you so you can repent from it and turn your ways and also to see the pattern of the spirit of death and it gives slumbering slumbering in that you want uh, and, and that listen that brings depression uh, depression you don't like a life anymore in the sense that God gave it to you to his son why you have sinned and you have uh, followed the pathways of sin and death and you disconnect yourself with the life of Christ by doing your own will and the spirit of death will bring a, bring a pattern in your life that you are will always have a, a, a reason to to do something not and you are this you you are disobedient that is what the word teaches us and God and that was the reason that I bring in Ephesians 5 verse 14 you have to awake for Jesus you have to you have to be alive you have to be a step a stand, stand up and do the will of the Jesus yeah, you, you give your life again to Jesus. Maybe you have to baptize you again, uh, give your life uh, again, and so you can make it uh, uh, right with Jesus and make a founded, uh, founded uh, decision that you not say, uh, all right, all right, but make it a an, an, an real deal decision. All right. That the Lord will bless you and keep you in the mighty name of Jesus. Please share, 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 and thanks for listening.